I'll time you. Okay. You look lovely. Bye. You do Thank look you. very glamorous. I appreciate that. I dressed up for some sisters. Yes, I did. Ah, yes. yes, honey. Lovely. I had to represent. <laughs> 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 Miss, I love both of you ladies, but Miss Olivia. Who's on Coleman, your pillow? Is that a pillow or a chair? Who's next it's to you? A, it's a chair. Whose face is I'm on in it? a chair. No, but next to you. Uh, in the oh, over here? Yeah. yeah. That's a poster. And there's, oh, a, um, there's a sofa behind me with pills on it. Oh, cool. Oh, lovely. I, my eyes are like, so what's bad. in that background? <laughs> I'm trying to figure <laughs> yeah, out sorry. who the posters are. Sorry. That is hilarious. Your time. I'm so sorry. Sorry, go on. That's okay. So I'll make it quick and painless. Miss oh. Olivia Coleman, let me just say, first of all, congratulations on your Gotham Award and every other award you've won in your life because you just crush oh. it all the time, every yeah. time. Yeah. Thank you so much. And you gave me life singing Bon Jovi living on a prayer. <laughs> I, I was like, get it, girl, and dancing. Oh. I love that so much. And the fact that you were a cougar. I just, I can't, I, I was oh, like, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. But um, <laughs> I am not with you. You are. You're, you're, you're a lovely <laughs> cougar, too. All right. So, ladies, I feel like these two characters are very intensely connected because they both kind of um, see each other and look at each other, but through each other, like they're looking through each other to each other's soul. Yeah. I think M Maggie, I've definitely, the most recent time I've had that has been with Maggie being really seen by somebody and really like, especially by someone that I admire so much, to have her be like, oh, you, I, I see you and come with me. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. Olivia? I feel, this is so cheesy. Am I allowed to mention uh, Ed, my husband? Is that too boring? No, girl, go always, ahead, do your thing. <laughs> I've always felt like I am allowed to be absolutely me with him and, and he's always, I don't have to explain how I'm feeling and he totally knows. And he's always, he also Aww. knows better than me, you know, when to just, I, he knows when to, to just leave it and we'll talk about it another time. And, uh, and he sort of taught me that. So he, he oh, sees me that. more than anybody else I know. I love that. Jeez, both of you say, <laughs> I nice, love lovely. that though. I love both of your answers. It was great. <laughs> both of you um, are doing roles that I've never really quite seen either of you do before because you're inhabiting kind of dark, gritty, mysterious, complicated characters. What would the younger Olivia and Dakota say to a younger Lita and Nina? And I'll start with Dakota first. I mean, my brain is... Uh, I, I think <laughs> that younger Dakota would say to young Nina, you're going to be okay. Yeah, that's nice. I'm not sure young Olivia was, uh, <laughs> I don't know wise enough to know all that <laughs> um I, I mean if i was to meet sort of so when jesse's playing later i think i hope i like to think if i you know i would say do you want to talk about it it's mm -hmm. okay could you get any childcare? um stuff to try and help her out and yeah hopefully say it's okay but i think it's only now that i'm older i can look back and go it's all okay mm -hmm. Um, cool. It's yeah. Sorry, I'm not. That wasn't a great answer to your great question. I thought it was great. You know Did what? you? Yeah. You're so All nice. Good. The fact that I get to ask y'all questions and you get the answer is like a thrill for me. So trust me, it oh. is all good in the hood. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have either of you worked with a whim, a woman at the helm before? Because this is so deliciously done, and I think it would have a different spin on it had a man been at the helm for this particular project. Uh, and actually, interestingly, El Elena Ferrante apparently uh, said um, to Maggie, it was, she didn't say, I think it was through a newspaper article or something, because she's so, you know, secret and elusive, um, that uh, she wouldn't have given the rights to a male director. And she said to Maggie, and I'm only giving you the rights if you definitely direct it. And if you get someone else to direct it, the deal's off. So she was this powerful, mm -hmm. secret, fairy godmother, you know, who who enabled Maggie and gave her the power to do it. And um, and uh, yes, I've worked with female directors before um, and I, and they were wonderful. W one wasn't, but um, Maggie is, is, is extraordinary. I think because she's been an actress and that's why she knows, she knows what we need and what we're, you know, 
how we need to feel protected and uh and so it was re it was particularly special with her at the helm I yeah think. I think also it really depends on who the person is whether they're a m man or woman or yeah. whoever they are it's depends I've worked with I just worked with six female directors in a row wow and it was amazing sometimes not amazing <laughs> and that's just human I kind of love you for saying that. Y'all have been very transparent and very honest, and I appreciate you and I adore you for it. Congratulations you. on the mm -hmm. film. Congratulations on your performances. And it has been my pleasure to speak with you today. Thank oh, you so much. Too. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. Bye now. Have Take a great care. one. Bye. Bye-bye.